Tawaki are quite unusual in that they seem to be breaking all the rules. Everything we know about penguins, everything we extrapolated from other penguin species, it doesn't apply um, to Tawaki. Um, basically, by studying them, we start from scratch. Well, I've tried for a long time to study Tawaki because um, there are... You heard that, right? Let, let me just quickly check. I see them. Tawaki breed in the most inaccessible um, regions of, of New Zealand, southwestland, fjordland and um, the, the remote coast of Stewart Island. Um, so they're pretty hard to get to and on top of that they like to breed underground in rock crevices and uh, caves. Uh, sorry, I hurt you guys. They keep on distracting me. They tend to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the other thing, that to complicate things, they, they, they are mainly active at night on land. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a tough job finding Tawaki. This season, we, on average, we go home around 2 a.m. Uh, it comes with a lot of sleep deprivation, <laughs> but it's fun. Um, the hardest part of the job right now, it's uh, carrying the bloody car battery up to the transponder gate, really. Bloody car batteries that are lighter than this. Ugh. Sitting out here in the rain, being wet and miserable, nah, that's the fun part. Unlike most other penguin species, Tawaki still seem to be doing okay. Um, so now is the time to get the, the baseline information required um, to know what makes them prosper. Um, so if they ever, um, you know, uh, start to head downhill, we know exactly the conditions that they require to flourish. Once you're out here, and once you're, you see Tawaki in this incredible environment, it's just in, an incredible scenery um, to be working with penguins. This is the fifth year we're here and I still can't believe that, that we can do this. It's, it's pretty fantastic. <laughs>